Traditional cancer treatments routinely take a one-size-fits-all approach. Unfortunately, this often doesn't work and cancer returns, leaving patients with very few treatment options. That's what happened to three-year-old Logan Jenner, who was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, underwent chemotherapy and a bone marrow transplant, then relapsed. The prognosis for Logan was dim. For most cancer patients, one in three die when their cancer comes back. When it comes to cancer, somebody telling you that, a doctor telling you that, it's shocking, right? But you have a plan. But relapse, it really takes something from you. Like, something you didn't know can be taken away from you. Luckily, Logan was being treated at Nicholas Children's Hospital in Miami, which has a research collaboration with nearby Florida International University. After a discussion with Logan's parents, his clinician, Dr. Maggie Fader, enrolled Logan in a clinical trial that she was conducting with cancer researcher Diana Azam at FIU's Robert Stemple College of Public Health and Social Work. The study was helping cancer patients using a technique known as functional drug testing. Functional drug testing, in simple terms, is adding drugs on tumor cells and seeing what happens. And that's essentially what we do. We get fresh tumor samples from cancer patients, and we test different drugs on the tumor cells, against the tumor cells, and look for drugs that will work and selectively kill that patient's tumor. The research team proceeded to test Logan's sample against hundreds of FDA-approved drugs, including both cancer and non-cancer drugs. Our test has several key benefits as compared to everything that's available today. First, our turnaround time is fast. We can return results back uh, to the doctor in seven days, and this is very important. We're able to give back data to the physician in a clinically actionable time frame. Number two, the way we test these drugs, we can actually test hundreds of drugs on the tumor cells. We are providing many more options for patients that have exhausted standard of care. And I think the biggest difference is that we've actually shown that whatever works on the tumor in the lab actually works on the patient. What's unique about this trial is how rapidly we can turn around results and use those results to direct our therapy. And that's important because we're talking about a patient with cancer that's getting worse day by day and we don't have the luxury of time. For Logan, it was life-saving. His medication was adjusted and he quickly went into remission. After another bone marrow transplant, he has now been cancer-free for two years. I keep all of Logan's results and the results from Dr. Zem's tests, I, I told her I want to frame them because it saved his life. And it wasn't just Logan. 83% of children who received treatment recommendations as part of the study showed improvement. All I can say is I don't think my son would be here without this study. And I really mean that. I don't think he would be here without it. Because we just have been giving him the same thing. But why wouldn't we have changed it? I think Dr. Azam's study and Dr. Fader being willing to implement it, I, I love them. I, I really share my son with them.